my take on the Omni screen one mile, three minutes and 59.91 seconds from 16 February 2008. Um, so here I talk through the Aonis Kirin of Samoa, uh, one mile run race at a competition in Wanganui, New Zealand. Time of 3 minutes 59.91 seconds. And I'm going to look up the day of the week for my eye calendar. A Saturday, Saturday 16 February 2008. With his time, he achieved a personal best time and a Samoa national record. I provide my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of the significance of the performance pre, during, and post living in Honolulu full time August 2012 to 2015. I am Tanis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tanis Leonardi. I am filming this Friday, 9 February 2024. So this is one of the results that I was in high school and I was has started with myself as coach in January 2006. So this is actually a result that I found interesting uh, when it happened. I would probably say in hindsight, uh, it was probably the most impactful result in all of sporting to me from the 2008 year. Um, and so this guy, he, um, to the best of my knowledge, he is actually Samoan. And so kind of growing up over here in, I'm a Seattle child, um, northern suburbs of Seattle currently, um, from northern Seattle as well. And so there was a bit of, there's a strong football culture. And so Samoans were kind of known as the big guys that like get brought into the team. And this guy was uh, kind of got slammed both ways. Cause he was small, like as in skinny for his people, but like uh, not necessarily skinny for the sport of middle distance running. So he had a bit of, um, I started running to lose weight. And so a lot of people kind of remembered me as the fat kid who lost weight. And so he was actually a bit unique in terms of um, impact in this run, especially cause I saw the result and it was kind of like, People were like, yeah, but it doesn't really mean much because people go sub four minute miles all the time now. Um, and I remember being like, well, for me, it's a big deal, right? I might not ever be that fast, but uh, his time and the people kind of being, um, having, this is, so this is the, my take on his performance in the pre me moving to Hawaii. Um, but that um, like if the people are ha like brought into the team because they're big, but not necessarily the fastest guys, this is a really big deal. <laughs> and like, that's a fast time. I might not ever run that time. Um, to this day, I might not, right? <laughs> um, I'm a she, her, hers. Okay, so this is, you know, what? Oh, over, over six seconds faster, over seven seconds faster than the fastest woman, right, <laughs> still. Um, so, um, just a little bit of a reality check there. I, I, I thought it was a remarkable result and I thought that the uh, not being broken, so to speak, by the people, um, right, like the culture there being like, I, I, I might not be what my people are stereotyped as, but I can still go out there and I can still run and I can still try. And then he did and he broke the four minute barrier for himself and his people. Um, so I thought it was very cool. Um, and then, so it did actually factor in to me choosing Hawaii. So I lived in Hawaii for um, August 2012 to June 2015. It was like, it was not that I'm going to Hawaii because this guy is like Samoan and Hawaii might have a more similar culture to the Polynesian <laughs> Islands or the rest of the Polynesian Islands kind of thing. Um, <laughs> If, if one gets truly into Hawaiian culture, it's very different than mainland United States of America. So living there, I learned that, and um, but it did factor in. I was like, it'd be cool to go and learn right, about the place um, and the people, right? <laughs> like even if not like, the, a native Hawaiian, he's still Samoan, and I could hope that Samoan could hope that carries through a little bit. Kona's ready to play and run himself. He's an Australian Shepherd mix. Okay, and 
Oceanans is a second Oceanan. If we can't, John Landy is Australian as Oceanan um, for my one mile run coverage. So with an individualized athletics performance contextualization video. So then when I was there, um, yeah, there was, he, um, I think it, it's a, it's an interesting thing. Uh, I would say living in Hawaii is, uh, his, 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 his impact on me and my running was not lost in the sense of being perhaps culturally aware of what one's people are, like stereotyped as, and what one person is, and becoming kind of confident with one's own body and what one is and what one is not kind of thing. And then post living in Honolulu full time, um, oh, and yes, he did factor into me choosing the University of Hawaii at Manoa, but was not necessarily the like, I'm, well, I'm going for an education and running is my own thing. So it was like the it's a stability for choosing it for kind of like still having that on the, the kind of not giving up on my running, even if I'm not doing the running as the training. I, I walked, I could probably argue, you know, that walking I did in Hawaii when I didn't have my car and I walked, you know, sometimes four miles, you, I, I walked to Walmart and back, you know, almost every day for some time there. And I walked to Target, which was 11 miles away. And like, there's, there were, there was, I just did a bunch of walking and put mileage in, not running, but still with my legs. Um, and so post living in Honolulu, I'd say this guy is, uh, like if I'm writing an autobiography, this is somebody that I would include because um, my weight does matter, but learning to become comfortable with myself, skinny, big, not big. Um, <laughs> so like somewhere in between, um, learning to just kind of accept myself and run. Um, for me, I would say it's a fast time for uh, good peoples, <laughs> um, but also the the body image matters a lot for him. And for me and my story and my confidence in my body image, but more so my body weight, because um, my running times have tended to be weight dependent. Um, just kind of coming to terms with that, but also not hating myself and not letting it impede my progress kind of thing. So, yeah. As my take on the Aonis Au Kareen one mile run, three minutes and 59.91 seconds from 16 February, 2008.